today I'm going to be reviewing Katanamura Masa and Vanish Cobra right after this. Here's the box art for the front of the box. It looks really cool as usual. Uh, there's Muramasa right there, and there's Cobra right there. Here's the side of the box for the Beyblade Burst app. We already know about that. Uh, I'll show the QR code probably at the middle or the end of the video. Here's the back of the box. It shows all the stats and everything. And here's the other side. There's nothing special about the other side. But yeah, let's get this box open. Alright, here are the two bays split apart into all their parts. So let's look at Katana Muramasa first. Here's the Muramasa chip, and I have to say that this looks really cool. I like the black and gold on it, as well as the white. The white just really makes it stand out. It looks really cool. Uh, I'm not that good at telling if slopes are bad or, or good or bad. Oh, here's the QR code if you want to scan the bay. But I don't really have anything else to say about it. So let's go over the katana ring next. Here's the katana ring. And it has two swords. And I've heard a lot of people say that it kind of looks like Hollow Doomsizer's contact point. Just copied and pasted to the other side. And I can kind of see that. Because it has that giant metal sword here and here. Even though it's not actually metal, it's just plastic. This is pretty thin. It's not too thick. Um, here's the hand holding the sword. And I actually noticed before the video that they actually put Japanese text on the... Well, this is probably Chinese. Correct me in the comments, but... I think it's Japanese text that they put on the sword. It's a right spin stamina type blade. Although this, is, although this will probably be better for attack. Uh, here's the bottom. Pretty hollow as usual. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the... I like the gold and the gray and the black. It just matches really well. So... Let's do the gravity ring next. Here's the 10 gravity ring. Um, it's not that special, it's just plastic. It's kind of weird that they called this a gravity ring, but it's made of plastic and not metal. Um, just a standard gravity ring, it's just like every other gravity ring. I don't have a scale, so I can't weigh any of these parts. But, yeah, let's put the full layer together. Three, two, one. So here's the completed Katana Muramasa layer. It's pretty wide. It's it's pretty wide. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Here's the QR code again if you didn't get a chance to scan it before. This contact point here does look like it takes a little bit of recoil though. But other than that, this looks like it'll be good for stamina or attack. But I thought that the burst resistance isn't really the best. So let's go over the rest of the parts, shall we? Here's the disc called QQ. Hasbro hasn't updated the app to where they tell you what the names are, so I have no idea what this is called. The design is really cool, though. The first time I saw this, it reminded me of one of those fake stadiums with the things that pop up. I think you've seen that before, too, but yeah, it has that lip there that all quad drive discs and, and dynamite battle discs have. 
It slopes down, kind of, kind of similar to Nexus, but it's also very similar to Tapered, where it slopes down in that way. But yeah, the design here is very cool. It has all these diamond pieces here. They look like diamond-ish. Like they have as this these two swords here, and the rest is just circular. Uh, yeah, that's it. This looks cool and everything. It's pretty hollow on the bottom though, compared to an actual quad drive. I mean, compared to the to, an, to a DB disc, this is pretty hollow. But from the top, it looks cool. But yeah, let's move on to the driver and armor tip. Alright, here's Mobius with air quotes. Mobius Quad Drive. This doesn't look like Mobius at all. It, it doesn't even have the lip or anything. Because the armor tip has to fit on, obviously. But I've heard the spring on it isn't this good. And it's alright. I I felt better springs though. Also, why did they make this flat? my camera will focus why did they make this flat instead of round doesn't look like mobius at all but i guess you could call it mobius if you focus i guess you could call it mobius i mean i can kind of see it with these here these claws i think um here's the thing for the armor tip Speaking of the armor tip, let's go over the armor tip next. Here's the Rise Performance tip, and I'm glad we got a Rise Performance tip because Rise is one of my favorite drivers for stamina. It's actually pretty similar to Rise, where it's the sharp tip with the ring that goes around it for life after death. Here are the prongs here for the, for the actual tip. Um as these things and i don't remember if that was on the actual rise driver hold on let me get my actual rise driver real quick oh i guess it does actually has have those three things here 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 and here just like on the actual thing here 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 um yeah the, i mean it's not completely like the actual rise but I'd say it's pretty close. So yeah, let's put it on the... About that. Let's put it on the actual Mobius performance tip. Here's Mobius with the rise attachment on it. Mm. It's pretty, it's taller than the actual rise. But that's how it's like with most quad drive performance tips. Um, but yeah, let's put it on more Masa. Oh, also here's a um, test to see if the slopes are good. Get on the layer. Oh yeah, this isn't good. This slides very easily. It does look cool though. That's the only thing that saves this bay. From being completely bad okay let's put this in apex mode here's the bay with the attachment off okay let's move on to cobra okay here's the cobra chip and this actually reminds me of i think it was mirage devilos from speedstorm i don't know that's what it reminded me of the first time I saw it. I don't know why. Just the colors seemed very similar. But here are the three... Here are the four dragon heads, even though I know there are more. Oh, I'm sorry, snake heads. I know there are more snake heads, but they only painted four for some reason. Here's the gold here. It looks very nice. And the base is blue. It looks pretty cool, too. Here's the QR code. If you want to scan it in your app, here are the slopes, 
You can tell me in the comments if they're good or bad before I test them. Um, other than that, this is a pretty cool core. There's nothing really more to say about it. Let's go over the ring next. Here's the vanish ring. And as we expected, there's no rubber. You can hear it. I'm tapping it. There's no rubber. Um, I've, according to Spider, this is, I mean, sorry, Agent Spider, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be for stamina, but it's good for attack. I mean, it's supposed to be for attack, I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, it's not supposed to be for attack, it's supposed to be for stamina. I don't, I actually don't know why Spider said something about this being for, being for attack. I think probably because it's a three wing shape. Um, it's hollow on the bottom. I dropped it. It's hollow on the bottom, as you can see. Um, but yeah, they... Also, there's not that much detail. There's only green and gold. They didn't even paint the dragon heads or the eyes of the dragon heads. But that's all I have to say. Let's go over the gravity ring next. Here's an unknown gravity ring. There, this doesn't have a name yet. Um, it's G zero. It's G zero five on the box. So I guess I'm calling this G zero five. Um, there's nothing special. It probably weighs the same amount as the ten gravity ring. Um. It has a cool design, at least. It has these two prongs on the side. Mm. Yeah, nothing more to say about it. Let's go over the disc next. Here's the Diagron disc. I remember that they named this from the app before it got updated. Mm. This actually has a very... This looks like it scales from a snake, which is actually very fitting for Cobra. It's pretty hollow on the bottom, but it's fine. The, the shape looks cool. This is actually my second Diagron in my collection. The first one came from Gilda Balderov, which I have. Uh, it actually reminded me of Variant Lucifer's shape. You can probably see that now that I said it. You probably saw it before, but I just wanted to mention it. Um... Yeah, nothing more to say. Looks cool. There's nothing else. Uh, yeah, let's go over the tip and... Tip and, um, armor tip next. Here's the assault performance tip. It's a fast attacking driver. It, according to Zanki, has the best spring out of all the quad drive bays. And when I felt the spring, it... Actually was better than Mobius. And it does have good burst resistance on Roctavore, so I can see why why Zanka would say that. This time it comes in this nice gold color. This last time it came in an orange color. But yeah, it's fast attacking. The life after death isn't that good though. But nothing more to say. Uh, Let's go over the armor tip next. Here's the armor tip, which is defense. Even though it's not really a defense type armor tip, it's more of an attack type armor tip. Because for some reason Hasbro flattened this out instead of making it a ball shape. That way it will be a defense tip. But yeah, it has a pretty circular ring which should help for life after death, even though it doesn't really help for life after death. I forgot to breathe. Um. So yeah, let's put this on the actual driver in three, two, one. So here's what it looks like with the armor tip on. It's still taller than the actual defense driver, but it's fine. It probably has really good burst resistance and good life after death as well. But yeah, let's see what it looks like with the full bay. Let's see how good the slopes are. Oh yeah, they're really good. 
But it does feel like the company... The company did actually put a Dakaratomi driver on this by accident. So the slopes feel kind of weird, but... Yeah, they do feel kind of good. Here's what the bay looks like in low mode. High mode in 3, 2, 1. Okay, here's... Here's the bay in high mode. Uh, as always, there's the gap in the middle. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's move on to the test launches and test battles. Let me get my stadium real quick. Muramasa is going to be in core plus mode. Reach one out of it. That sounds about that looks about right it is actually good like a stamina type oh it's life after death is good okay next is without a timer tip they to one letter too aggressive it's acting more like a either a balance type or a defense type which makes sense since it's mobius or at least it's supposed to be mobius It's starting to slow down. And his life after bless his life after death. It's decent. It's okay. Now let's do it in Apex mode with and without the armor.
so that's going to conclude my review for Katana Muramasa and Vanish Cobra. If there are any battles you want me to do with these two bays, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.